Hello friends, my name is Marina and today I'm going to show you how I styled my hair with my Dyson Airwrap. So my Dyson arrived in this very pretty box, but honestly, I don't really use it. I just keep all the extra uh, details that I don't need in there. So the only extensions I actually use are, of course, those uh, two thinner barrels. I've purchased them separately because they are for the longer hair. I use the hair blurring extension that was in a set. And sometimes I use one of those uh, two brushes. I don't really see the difference. I bought myself some uh, section clips um, for the ease of styling. And also I like um, those little guys to, to help me to section the hair. So this is my favorite brush. It's a Dyson brush. It came with um, Dyson because I purchased um, air wrap for 550 on Black Friday and they sent me this um, brush. So as a gift, I got a comb and a brush and this uh, storage bag I even haven't opened yet. Uh, today my hair is on the drier side, but when I want to make it drier, I just put the uh, hair blower extension. It's really easy. You just snap it on. And this is the on button. Just... So I usually love to part my hair. So I want to do... Um, the front little hairs last so sorry so, And then I like to do the colder setting, so it pulls. Yeah, like the first time I saw the curl, it was shocking, like shocking to see how beautiful and fast my curls become alive. Like, just look, it's literally a couple seconds like impossible and then I will take another section and just the same great result every time I put it on high and after the high I immediately put it on the cool and I pull it up because, and then if I feel like it's still dry, I put it on the high again, and I kind of keep touching it. I don't let it to be as hot, so I cannot touch it at all, because if it burns my hand very much, it burns my hair as well. So I try to keep it nice, like this, then it's done. Yeah, I think it's unbelievable result for it. Just like, and then I just keep going like this. So I watched a lot of tutorials. This is my second time doing it. The first time I did it, I was like so shocked like how fancy it is. Mm. 
so it's like yeah um i know that some people so i know that some people are not satisfied with the result and um they think it's not working for them um but i actually never try to just leave my curls i always use a lot of hairspray i I mean, like refreshing it in a couple um, hours. Like, I think it's very easy. Just very easy, very satisfying. It's. Um, I try to do it with a hair much better than this one and it's still great like I still feel like it's working and I'm just like ready to go in approximately an hour it takes me like an hour to be completely done with it Just hope you're enjoying the magic. I think it's quite magical, right? It's like a, I'm like a fairy. It's like a hair wand. So I always try to curl the ends, and then I just do this, and don't forget to change the heat. I actually never tried the short barrels. So that's my check and this yeah it's so like can do it with a mirror or with a camera if it's away from your face from the arrow shorter and i don't know honestly how good will it look because i'll try to take like a smaller section so this is You know, it's not as optimal, but it's definitely doable. You see, like this is a shorter one. Now I'm thinking, did I actually really needed the other one? Hmm. But this is the thicker. So you can compare the thinner curls to like a thicker curls. Let's do one more thick. And then we'll do one more thin again. So in my opinion, if you want to do hair on the wetter side, uh, you should buy the longer barrels because it's easier to dry your hair with it. But if you're just going to do it on the drier side, I think that uh, the shorter barrels that come with the set already quite nice like you can help your hair to do it yeah, it's not necessarily and i don't even like the uh, thicker barrel that much i think i'm much more enjoying the thinner curls so now i can see i changed my uh, barrel to the other opposite side one so the arrow is pointing that way so I can do this side of my hand on high and like a magic and don't forget to change it to the cool one so you don't leave it on hot all the time Just beautiful. Just look at this curl. Absolutely beautiful. And on fold.
and done. So I kind of forgot and I mixed some hairs. This one is from this. Let's watch. That's how my hair looks on the back. little tip for you so if you are not sure how the curls are going to hold with your Dyson ear up my little advice is to get yourself a little hair rollers like this like a squishy ones I believe they're quite similar with the effect so my curls from the Dyson Airwrap are behaving the same way they behave from overnight sleeping on hair rollers. So they, they stay almost as much and they fall almost as much um, because I believe that in principle, the curl is kind of the same. If you do the hair roller on absolutely dry hair, and then you wake up in the morning, you roll them out. If the curls fall without hairspray, they are going to go, go, they're probably going to fall from your air wrap as well. If they stay, they're probably going to stay. If they stay with a hairspray, your uh, hair roller curls, they're probably going to stay with a Dyson air wrap. So just one more little tip for you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let's be friends.